Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and we're playing Rip Them Off. This is a premium iOS game. I need to remember what these people do. I'm not sure if I completely understand this game, so we're going to fumble through it together. Just hang in there. But we've got a budget, and we want to get people to spend money. That's our goal. And we're doing that by selecting these different store types. You can kind of see how many customers it has, their average price point, and how long it's going to take. These different colored circles, though, we've got like these X's, they care about different shop layouts. So I'm just going to start tinkering around with it. I tend to do a lot of trial and error in this type of game because I honestly... Oh, there's people coming from the other direction? Right. Right. I don't think we made the right decision. I don't think we made the right decision at all. I didn't... I can't believe I didn't notice just the other people. Well... We're gonna have to redo this. That's okay. You can kind of see that there are different customers coming and when they see a free spa in my shop, they go in and spend money. They come out either gray with a bit of black or this blue color. This blue color does mean they've spent all of their money. Which is good, because that's what we want to do. We want to get people window shopping. Uh, obviously this isn't the right type of shop for this building because people aren't being able to make it in. And instead they're walking away quite upset. I mean, you could cross the street where I'm selling the exact same stuff just across the road. But that's fine. You could just be grumpy instead and not give me any of your money. Ugh, yeah. I mean, this was close, but we still didn't quite make it by about 10%, which is a big shame. What did the board ever do to you to be treated with such disrespect? Genuinely, they want to know. Try again and we'll tell them. So it's got kind of comedy of like an overarching capitalistic world happening, which is, I don't know, kind of fun. Maybe we'll go with this one. I don't know. I don't ever know if what I'm doing is right. I don't quite understand people and their colors yet. The other side starts off um, faster, so I actually think that we did do it right and we just need to let the other side, which had people coming first, go and get the shop first. That way we could get enough money to do the second side faster. I think that's actually the the way this is going to play out. Got that done. And we'll just see. I like fast forwarding it because the tutorial told me to and told me that the board appreciates my efficientness when I fast forward the day. Take that as you will. The board who seems to pay me, so I'm going to continue listening to them. I haven't played a puzzle game this challenging in a while. I feel like there's a lot of, like, information at play that I'm not quite understanding fully or I'm not quite getting the hang of completely. And I find that really fun, actually, to have so much trial and error and so much failure. Although 96% is, is a hard failure to come by. Less is more, they say, but not the board. They say more is more, but and probably not enough. That's so close. Alright, so we're gonna do this side first again. And let's just do a slightly more expensive shop. And we'll speed it up, and then we'll do this side as the slightly cheaper shop. And maybe... I don't know, maybe that'll help us? I feel like either way, everyone's spending all the money they have, so... I'm really unsure how this will help. I feel like most of the day is already gone before we get to put down our second shop. But obviously your budget... See, we only got one person for the top shop. I feel like the other day we got more than one person. But again, I would need more, I'd need to understand more. I mean, on the bottom row, less people are walking by angry though, so maybe it is a faster shop and it is more efficient. Who am I to know? I don't, I haven't been on a high street in months. I haven't seen a window display in so long. These window displays just look like shapes. We did it! Yay! Yay! The board welcomes your success. Your talents are clearly wasted on such a meager on such meager goals. They offer you a more challenging assignment. The company is not liable for any stress-related illnesses arising from assignments designated fun or challenging. All right, we got thirty thousand. All right, we need to get thirty thousand. Got three bits. More people are coming from this street. Let's do the fast one again. We learned that's the wrong side. I need to pay attention to more stuff. Let's restart. So this, this is for both sides, actually. 
So that needs a, like a really fast one. So we'll do the, this is only three though. This is a good one for that. It's super fast. I think, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, so that's able to process each side so that we're not missing anyone. This is perfect. Let's also, I don't know, wait and do this one. You want to have different options for them because they won't go into the same type of shop um, in one go. So they'll either go into one type of shop and then into another type of shop. Or they'll just pass by kind of angrily. Um, I feel like we definitely need to get another shop here, so I guess we'll wait. I'm not sure if we're going to make enough money, but we are clearing people out, which is good. And we are making quite a bit. The number is going up. Hopefully that'll tighten the amount. Oh, that person couldn't even go in. Hmm. Got a couple of blue people. Not a whole lot. Do we have another day? Question is, should one of these shops have been different? We can upgrade you. We can upgrade, well, we don't have enough money. That's the thing. You never have enough money for these sorts of things. This is what I would upgrade, but... People on the bottom are never really... Or I guess the, this is the top. People on the top are never coming out completely blue. Oh, that just fits more of them in, though. I don't care about more here. Could have probably went away with just not doing that. Still 95. 96%, so we've messed up somewhere. Just not sure where. We can restart on a specific day. I don't know if that'll help us, but I think that day one we did correct, so let's restart on day two. Got these. Kind of waiting to do this. Maybe if we wait, like, just a little bit longer, this secondary shop would be better for us. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. A lot of this is just trial and error, as I said earlier. Alright, so we've got that one. Will you come out blue? Now they're coming out blue before they even make it to the second store, though. So, like... That's good to know, but I don't know if this is a good thing, you know? We are at 50%. We have one more day left. We had lots of um, shops going now. They're not coming out completely blue, which is good because they have more money to spend. Uh, but they're also just not coming out completely blue at all. So, will we get more than the last time? I don't know. We're definitely going through a lot of customers. Got 98, 99. Are you kidding me? 99%? What have I messed up on? Who knows? But that's the game, rip them off. It's pretty funny, it's quite cheap, three pounds, three dollars actually, and 99 cents, and it's got a plethora of levels and people to try to take cash from. I'm gonna stop here for today, but thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Bye.